I, as you just heard, I'm a crossbench peer, I'm non-aligned. I'm actually the only minister of government this country has ever had that didn't belong to the party of government while he was doing the job. And uh, it was on that famous day in uh, 2007 when the then two-day-old prime minister, well, he wasn't two days old, you understand? <laughs> Some of his colleagues were, but no, he was... Um, He'd just been made Prime Minister, and he, uh, he asked me down, and I thought he was going to take a brief from me on skills, because it's, I'm passionate about skilling people. And, uh, and he, I walked in and congratulated him, and he said, you've been going on for years about why is it that the trade brief, the investment promotion brief, is always given to a minister who's come up through the party, doesn't want to travel, doesn't want to leave the Westminster Beltway, doesn't actually understand business. Uh, so, come on, let's do this differently. Would you like to do the job? I said, sure. He said, you're going to have to give up everything you do, all your money earning. I said, what? <laughs> he said, would you like to ring Pat, who's my wife? I thought, I want to ring my bank manager. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I said, I'll do it, Gordon, but there will be two conditions. And one is, I won't join the party. He said, oh, God, the Labour Party won't like that. I said, they'll get used to it. <laughs> and they didn't. And uh, I said, secondly, is that I'm, uh, I'm actually going to leave in 18 months' time. <coughs> what? He said, you'll be really good at this. I said, I know. I said, it was uh, Harry Truman, who was uh, vice president of the United States under FDR in the Second World War. And, he, and FDR died in office after peace in Europe, before peace in Japan in 1945. And FDR stepped into the breach. And in his inauguration address in Washington on that day, in the early summer of 1945, he said, it's remarkable what you can achieve when you don't care who gets the credit. That's a lesson for all of us in business, isn't it? Actually, you can achieve a lot more when you're not looking for the praise. And I said to the Prime Minister, I said, you know, I'm, I'm not going to do this job because I've got a political career. I have no desire for any political preferment. I'll do the job, and I'll go back to the private sector, hopefully having changed it. And, you know, to his eternal credit, he said, go on then, get on with it, do it. And he said, um, by the way, he said, just make a note of this. I said, what's that? He said, it's my private mobile number. And I, he said, don't abuse it, but you can use it. I said, okay. Anyway, I rock up at the Department of Business. And a few days, a couple of weeks later, they said, here's your car and driver. I said, I'm not getting into that. They said, why not? I said, it's not made in my country. And this, Sir Humphrey, and by the way, in my time in government, I did learn, actually, that yes minister yeah, was not a comedy. <laughs> it was a training documentary. Anyway, <laughs> this guy said, why does that matter? So when we came back from his funeral, <laughs> I, I said, you don't get it, do you? I said, it's the good men and women of this nation who are making cars that generate the profit, that pays the tax, that pays your wages, and mine. And on that basis, at least we should do is when we can, we should support them. A car that we don't make in this country, people movers, for instance, well, fair enough. But when we can, we should. What do you want? I said, I'll have the smallest, cheapest Jaguar they make. A little baby X-Type made in Liverpool, under 20 grand. He said, you can't have that. I said, why not? He said, it's not on the list. <laughs> so after about a week of this, I wasn't getting anywhere. So I thought, I'll ring the number. So I did. Now, what I didn't know, I must have been on his short dial, because the Prime Minister of the Fifth Biggest Economy on Earth said, good morning, Digby. What I didn't know was that this was the morning that Northern Rock went bust. And in the cabinet room at number 10, there was the Prime Minister, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, Secretary of State for Trade, there was the Governor of the Bank of England, the boss of the FSA, the entire board of Northern Rock, and I said, it's about my car. 